like, what are you doing? 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 I could feel my rage growing. I was just, <sighs> my <sighs> rage, my rage, my rage, my rage, my rage. Good morning guys, it is the 4th of July and John is spoiling me again. He's just made me breakfast. Bro John, what breakfast have you made me? Delicious breakfast, protein granola. Pro or oatmeal. Protein granola and oatmeal. How fantastic is that? What a great start to the 4th of July. So last night it was a super, super warm night and there was basically, the debate was, do I sleep with my sleeping bag undone? Because then I get bitten to death, but then I'm cool. Or do I keep my sleeping bag zipped up, sweat to death, but not get bitten? So I basically chopped and changed between the two and I'm just covered in um, bites, which are itchy. So remind me to buy some bug spray because I definitely... So the other interesting thing that happened last night, so obviously I got in super early, John cooked me an amazing dinner, um, dozing in my bed by about sort of 8.30 and um, yeah, properly going to sleep, I was all ready. Then 10 o'clock, it's quite dark, another guy rocks up to the shelter. And I was like, okay, you know, my first thought is like sympathy because wow, you know, arriving at 10 o'clock at night, it's not nice to arrive that late, oh, it's happened to me. And then I thought, you know, my sympathy slowly changed to rage because he was flapping for two and a half hours with a full headlight on, head torch everywhere, everything being unpacked, everything being tinkered, food being cooked, clothes being washed, things hung up. And I was literally, I could feel my rage growing. I was just like, what are you doing? Because whenever I've got into a shelter, like at that time, it's blow your air mattress up, put your sleeping bag out, get into bed, go to sleep, and be as quiet as possible. So I was raging, absolutely raging. Then, this morning, my rage then changed back to sympathy because I found out he was a 78 year old man who was hiking and he'd obviously lost his way and he'd run out of water and I was a bit like, oh, well now I feel a bit bad for you. Um, so it went back to sympathy. Um, but yeah, right, let me tell you the plan for today. So the plan for today is to walk 22 miles, 21 7 on the AT and then to go half a mile off trail to go and stay at a hostel. It is the 4th of July, I think it'd be quite nice. I'm going to go treat myself. Apparently this hostel has smoothies, does a massage and also does home cooked organic food. I've got something biting me. Um, so that is the plan. Uh, two big climbs today. The rest should be pretty flat so I just want to try and bash it out as quickly as possible. Oh no! It's just started to rain. This is not what I wanted. Right, I will keep you updated on progress. Do you know what an absolute killer is? Is not getting enough sleep. So the flaffing stopped at 20 to 1, this is this morning, and then I thought, okay, fine, we can go to sleep. And then guess what time he was awake? 5.30 in the morning and the flaffing started again. So I've probably had less than four hours sleep and I can really tell because I'm just so tired this morning. Even with an amazing breakfast, I'm just like this, I should be powering through this and I'm just not and it's so frustrating. <sighs> the day achieved, we have reached the suspension bridge. Booyah. This is what we like to see, lots of nice, easy trails. So it goes all the way along there. Boom, and around the corner. Nice and flat, nice and easy to walk on. This is good walking. There has not been a good signpost for miles, which is such a pain. But my guidebook basically says, cross this bridge and then cross that bridge and cross this bridge. I have crossed about 13 bridges. So I'm either, I'm either at about 12 miles or I'm at about 15 miles. And I really hope it's the 15 and not the 12. So 
I'm hoping to get to the first shelter soon just so I know exactly where I am on the um, with regards to mileage and how much further I have to go but all I seem to be doing is crossing bridge after bridge after bridge Whew. yeah that's right it's another bridge another bridge to cross over and another bridge to cross over this will be about bridge number 14 or 15 today so far bit of motivation to get moving isn't it I just feel as though I'm making zero progress and if I didn't know any better I feel as though I've just been walking in this massive loop bridge to bridge to bridge just round and round and round in one massive circle it's like why am I not meet, meeting any of the milestones that I should have been reaching it is just so frustrating not to be seeming not to be making any progress. <laughs> so, honestly, not joking, another bridge. Another bridge. Where are all these bridges coming from? Oh my goodness. Okay, the good news is it is 1.30 and we have also reached the uh, Wapipi shelter which means that I've gone, uh, it's now 616.5 miles, so, which is good, I've got about seven miles to bash out. Let's just crack on. So guys, we made it to Sugar Run Gap, and this is where I'm heading, Woods Hole Hostel. So yeah, let's go find it. So generally I do try and stay on trail and I haven't really left the trail apart from like the most I'll possibly go is 0.5 or 0.8 miles to a hostel, but I need resupply, I need some TLC, I need food. Um, I've all I've got in my bag at the moment is uh, a pack of salmon. And yeah, I just feel a little bit done in to be honest. I've had like a couple of really like hardcore days and like not getting any sleep has just been so wearing on me. I feel this sounds really, and I wouldn't recommend it, but I really want to get some like sleeping tablets or something just to make sure that I can get my sleep. It's not about the sleep, it's about the, it's about the recovery. I mean, that's when my body needs to repair itself in that 10, 12, 10, 12 hours before I get up and do another 10, 12 hours of walking. And if I'm not getting the sleep, my body's not getting repaired and it just makes every day harder and harder and harder. So, yes, I'm very excited about getting to the hostel. My plan is to eat a lot of food. I'm sorry I keep talking about food. <laughs> Here we are, Woods Hole Hostel, 3696 Sugar Run Road. Hey guys, how you doing? I know I'm looking absolutely horrendous. You should see my back. It's just like, I'm just covered in bite. It's just horrendous and I've got loads of spots. It's not good. So this is where I'm going to be uh, staying tonight. So I've got my clothes bag, my food bag hanging up there, my backpack there. So this is the sort of the bunk house at the top. Um, I have to say, these beds are super, super comfortable. So I'm now gonna go have a shower wash my clothes, put on some loner clothes, and then play things by ear, so I'll keep you updated. Show you dinner, everybody. Look at this. Doesn't this look absolutely incredible? Oh my God, I'm so excited. Good morning, guys. How are you doing? I just wanted to follow up from um, yesterday. So I had the most incredible dinner, all organic, all homegrown, which is amazing. Let me just show you. So as you can see, like over there, that's like the main house. We've got this organic little patch over here. That's the road that I walked up here, and I'm currently in the bunkhouse. So I had an incredible dinner, followed by the most amazing massage, and then had a really, really good night's sleep. So feeling in a much better place. Uh, my face still isn't looking great, but what can you do about it? Um, 
Thank you everybody who has been watching, thank you to everybody who's been subscribing and commenting, I really do appreciate it. Massive shout out to Flynn as well for the incredible job with the editing. And uh, yeah, keep following along and I'll keep you updated on progress. All right, take care, I'll speak to you later, bye.